Uh, okay. Okay. All right, guys, thank you once again. This is the second part of the Heroes and Old Tech Pro webinar every Sunday, 2 uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now we want to start with the Q&A. So, Sister Fumi, did you, do you have a question at all for our leaders before we open the Q&A section for our fellow um, the, members? The, there's only one question that I have here. It's as relating to what Brian Matty said earlier on. Um, someone uh, activated an account twice, okay? The first time it didn't go through was when we had that issue and they said, oh, wait, and then the account was stabilized. It waited. The account wasn't stabilized. But in between that time, when the account, everything was stabilized, it pay, made another payment and that account was activated. So now he's activated his account on one payment, but is he needs refund on one payment. How does he go about it? Since everybody's clamoring to answer that question, I think I'll cut in because the wind is blowing just perfect right now. Um, anyway, listen, tell him, tell her, tell whoever it is to give you the information or comfort or somebody here. And I need their email uh, address and I need their name. And if they use the credit card, the last four numbers of the credit card. And if they use cryptocurrency, what would I, what would they, red, what is it, what do they get from crypto if they use it? I forgot what it's called. Oh, hash, right. Yeah, okay. hash. Hashtag. No, it's the it's only code that, that they need. Hash. He, he, he actually used CAD, not, not crypto. Oh, beautiful. No, that's, send easy me the, that's easy. That's an easy one. Okay. Send it to somebody who can send it to me and I'll put it in right away. Do it today or I'll turn it into a pumpkin. All right. Thank you. I'll Thank you, Martin. Yeah. Comfort, Comfort has your 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 email. Oh my God, she has everything. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We're moving on with business right now. I I have a few random questions, guys. Bear with me. I know that you have it go. So Red, uh, I, I just want to know a bit. Like Ava says, we're here to learn. You know, you talked about this secondary arm of the all media, which is I O media and stuff. Can you just tell us a bit more about that? And if any other leader is motivated to add, why not, please? We really want to know. Thank you. Yeah, sure. yeah certainly. I, I mean, we already know that uh, our very own Professor Susan is head of O media. Uh, that's what she's in charge of. And what does O media do? They they are involved in um, collaborations with uh, other businesses as far as entertainment is concerned. For instance, um, Best Moments at the Coca-Cola Arena in Dubai. Uh, other collaborations as well. Uh, for instance, the Opera House, I know in uh, Dubai, they're collaborating with it. And what are they doing? They are uh, you, doing their ticketing, they're doing their advertising, they're doing their posters, their banners, all of these sort of things. That's what O-Media are doing. And now businesses are approaching O-Media separate, nothing to do with on passive. It is O-Media as a standalone. They are going to O-Media and saying, can you do our advertising? Can you promote us? All these sort of things. And that's what O-Media is doing. Obviously, they do everything for on passive as well but separately they're doing it for other businesses and collaborations we have with media just... now yeah go ahead sorry bring in uh, ai o media what is that this is the digital arm of o media what do i mean by that is we are now uh, breaking into a whole new digital territory that we are starting to see more and more on the internet if you are a regular user of the internet you will see more and more avatars uh, it, even go on to uh, facebook if you go down scroll down to facebook remember only two years ago we had our own select your own avatar that you can use and uh you know you, you had clapping and you had this guess what you can have in there now you can have actually 
working avatars on Facebook now that you can send as opposed to people, etc. This is how AI is moving forward by using uh, AI to its most uh, in an avatar <laughs> basis. What they're doing with Omedia is because they are uh, focusing on uh, what they're doing already, they needed to have a separate arm as far as the AI section was concerned. And what they're doing is they're producing video uh, quality content for companies so that instead of having a spokesperson to promote their function, businesses, whatever it may be, they're making AI avatars that are similar, if not very close, uh, to the actual person. Uh, we've all seen the one of our CEO, Ashmi Farah, for instance. I mean, it looks pretty much like him, doesn't it? I mean, you know, his hair's a little bit blacker and not as grey, but apart from that, you know, it's pretty much spot on. And this is what uh, the AI uh, Omedia is doing for other businesses. They're saying, listen, we can make you this digital model of yourself or your business or a spokesperson to advertise within Omedia to the outside world so that you don't have to get involved. They send them either a audio or they would do uh, a speech to text for them, etc. They load it all up. They send it back to them. And job is a good one. That is really is a forefront of the market at the moment, because this is going to be a massively growing, growing, growing part of what you'll see more and more on the Internet. We're seeing it already. And on passive, understand this is going to be more and more. And so they are positioning themselves very well once again to take a large chunk of that market share that is going to be out there. Back to you. Oh, my God. I felt like I was in a lecture room. Thank you so much, Red. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think we just have everything we need there. So, guys, we, we know that we need to take everything about, about our business seriously. That's why Red asked us or that reminded us earlier on that uh, the new version of the app is out there. So I want to know either from Collins or Vincent or Brother Oliver, why is it important for us to go back there and update and get into the new version of the app? Really quick, please. Thank you. <laughs> Collins, all right. I can't see Vincent. So you just go for it, please. Yeah, so all right. I just had to for that to add, yeah. So, you know, with every app, there is always update. The, the company always build and add functionalities. You know, like Red said last time, you know, and Mr. Ashford, I've already said this before. You know, on Passive, we'll never stop there. The first app is the first application. But there'll be more and more functionality coming. And if there is little bugs, they have to fix it. They have, have to add new things. So when they do that, there is the, the need for an update. So when you see an update, you need to just re-up. You need to update your, your, your system. When you update the app, then you'll get the latest version of the, the app. You know, and that's why every time most company, if you look at their app, Apple they always have every time a version will come out. It's just little bugs they fix, maybe little function they've added. So when they add that function, they'll come up with an update and you just see a pop-up and say, you need to update your, your app now. Click and update and then you get the latest version. All right, thank you. Last one from me, Vincent. You want to listen because I found this, it sounded really interesting uh, when I said that there will be rules of engagement when you pick your domain name or if you transfer or migrate something to us, us here being on passive, you will have hosting instantly done for you. So, what does that really mean and how different is it from the traditional way of doing these things? Please. Vincent and Bob and Oliver and Collins. Oh, so Vincent, leave, you first. I can leave Oliver. Yeah. Oliver, go. Uh, I'm sorry. I just got it. Uh, I'm sorry. Can I go over the question again? I didn't get the full question. I can just... No, I can read it again because yeah. I was making us to understand that either when you like we are we're waiting the, the domain and domain hosting and stuff. So when you pick your domain name, or if you had one, that's what I'm understanding. If you had one elsewhere and might want to transfer or migrate it over to Unpassive, you will have your hosting instantly done for you. We just want you guys to explain to us what this would mean because people need to know what they're in for. 
you cannot give what you don't have. I may need to tell someone so I tell them the right thing. Oh yes, um, you have to. Well, we have to also understand that um, uh, when they when they give you that your domain, it comes with a full. It's a, it's a full package. You know, your domain is there. Then your website resides on your on your domain. So now you now they will, like they say always tell us that the world will know you. The world will know you on your website. That is out there. Everybody's going to know you. My mother just mentioned something that your name, your name, <laughs> you know. So you have the, that package that your world, your name, your website is out there. The whole world. Remember that on passive is a global, it's a global company. As a, as a global company, your website is running. It like they see, they see also, also the, the CEO also told us that it will it will change, they might change it either every week or every day. You know, then customers will also be flogging in through your website and with your domain. That is a full business. You are also like GoDaddy because you use it, you bring in customers on your site, then you resell it also. You make money from it also. But this will only happen if you activate that account and you buy that product and you own it. All That's right. when you start making your commission from it. Okay. You know? And it comes, it comes also with the full, when I say full package, it's being well secured. Remember that anything that comes from the, from, from, from the public, you know, through the firewall is not trusted. So the SSL and the TLS, that's, that is, that's the secured means of data that, that is flowing. The transmission of the data from the public to your website is also secured and it's what artificial intelligence also. So everything there now is secure. So you got that full package. So what the CEO has done to us, what Unpassive has done to us, please, we should be jubilating every day because I, for one, I'm, I'm a work, I'm an employee. I did not, I didn't, I didn't, rem I can't even remember that or even think that one day I'm going to be a businessman. But today wow. I'm a businessman in the grand style that the world oh. is going to know me. And that is how all of us, the world will know us. You know, we are not talking about chicken change here. A website just to build a website and to host that website on your domain is something else. Just to build, right. it, you will pay somebody heavy amount of money. But this is a package that the, that the company they will do everything for us, man. For how much? Ninety three dollars. Right. I would even say um, three seventy five or one forty three. Now it's ninety three dollars, and they'll drive traffic again through to, through that website to your own organization, man. This is mind blowing. I'm a businessman. We are all. We are all multi-millionaires in the future. Thank you. And so we're fine. Thank you. So let, me, let me just add to what Ra Oliver said. All right, thank you. Domain, domain hosting. Let me just add a little bit. You know, when you have a website, you need domain what? Domain is a name. It's like a street name. For instance, if I'm looking for red, where is red living? The address, the blah, blah, blah. So it's like, the, the street name like Amazon is a, a name. So when you want to build a business, the first thing you want to you want to get, like I said, you need an address. Where what the location of your business? That's the location. So domain gives you that location. Now you go to GoDaddy, you get a domain. As you said, you come to Unpass, Unpass they give you the complete package. They give you a hosting right. The hosting is about hosting it on a data center. Then they connect you to the World Wide Web. They call it the Webmaster. That gives you access to the internet space. Because you can have a website. If you have the best website, if you don't host it, nobody will see you. You need to get a name. A website without a name. Name now is domain. Now, when you have that website, what do you need to do with that website? You need to fill it with products. Fill the website with products. The next thing. You need, you need to have cash register. When people come, how are they going to buy your product? There is a cash. You need to connect it to wallet, connectivity to wallet. But Ms. Ashford is giving us the highest position because you can have a domain, but you are number 10,000 down the page. So how do they see you? 10,000. We're talking about 3.2 million domain register address. So how would they see you? Mr. Ashbifara will take us to the highest. That's why he went for the highest top level, means all of us here will be seen. The hosting right, that's why we have the data center to host your domain and your data and everything. The management of that data, the configuration, the dynamic change of everything. That's what Mr. Ashbifara has just given us. So when, like Oliver said, the world will know your name. 
the Mr. Ash look at it. All right, I can build this business for myself. How do I replicate it so everybody can get the same thing? Not coming to like the way Amazon is. Amazon.com. Everybody go to Amazon. Who is making the money? It's Amazon making the money. Just one domain and one everything under Amazon. You buy a little package to become a reseller within Amazon. They are the one making everything. Mr. Ash said, I don't want you to come under Ash Mufara. I want to replicate what I have done to you. And when he said the world will know your name, it means you are owning a business. For instance, if Mr. Ash was a similar businessman, he wants you to get the same thing by replicating the action to 1 million, to 2 million, to 3 million people who decide to become an affiliate by hosting, building a website, the top website for you, make it dynamic for you, upload every product without restriction, give you access to cash register, where people come and they buy, they go, and they give you the top level of everything for nothing. And that is where the hosting come in because we have a data center. All right. So the difference now is how we get this cost effective and all of those things come. We don't, we never used to get them from other places. Correct. Right. Thank, Correct. You. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thanks. So Andy, are you adjusting to say something or do we move on, please? Yeah, I, I, it's only, I'll start again. <laughs> Put my teeth back in. Um, <clears throat> it, it's really a, a case of um, uh, uh, looking at this from the, from uh, because every single account that we have is a business, okay? And we know that there are in excess of 3 million customers to date, okay? And very shortly, O-Connect, o -Connect will go viral. So when it does, there are going to be customers coming in left, right and centre. And this rotator system that's going to be put in place as of Tuesday means that there are probably no more than half a million of the founders that have actually activated their account. For whatever reason, uh, people have dropped off the radar. They've forgotten about what's going on with OnPassive. It's uh, OK. It's not happening. I'll leave it there. That's great for you and I. Because at the end of the day, everybody here has activated their accounts. And if they haven't, they will do before Tuesday. But what it means from a, from a, a business perspective is that every single person should get between three and six customers. And as long as one of those customers has purchased OConnect, your quid's in. Because actually, if you haven't got any customers at the moment, the first customer you get, bearing in mind there's still a discount, but you'd get 200. Now, if you've only paid 93, you're in profit. So you're already making money from one customer. And what I don't understand is, and I, I've been running around myself trying to speak to every single person that's within the group to say, look, guys, you know, we, we, we have reached the line, the first line, the first opportunity where we're going to have these customers allocated to us. So why, why are you holding back? What's keeping you from holding you back? We were told a couple of years ago that you'd need between $150 and $350 to activate your account. Well, we're lucky enough to have it at 93 because everything else has been given to us. And bearing in mind, guys, this is three months. This is not a month. This is three months. $93 for three months with O-Connect with 10,000 attendees. Now, you may or may not use that. But anybody you speak to that pays 200 is still quids in because Zoom charges 6,500 for that number of attendees. So why not get a business to try it? But bottom line is, that's for three months. And you're not telling me that in three months, you're not going to get three customers that will buy O-Connect, which means you're in profit and your business has started. So you're better off activating sooner rather than later, again, purely from the point of view that we already have customers to, to hand out. And it should be, expectations could be, between three and six customers said you only need the one so make sure you speak to absolutely everybody because if you've already got a group and let's say your group are 10 and they get 
five customers each, you've got 50 more people in your group. Okay, well, that's a great start for any business. Wow. Um, my sister, um, sister Comfort, let me add something. Let me add something here about um, um, the AI cloud computing. The difference between ODC. ODC is uh, where the old tech pro, we call it, we've, we've given our own name, Unpassive, Unpassive Data Center, ODC. So now it's AI. One major, one major difference with all the other data centers that, that, that we've seen. The corridors of the data center with the others are not secured. The corridors, when I say the corridors, in between the savers, and they have tenants. Tenants means space. You segmented space that each company will come and rent a space. That in between that space, they would call the corridor, is not secure. Guess what? With the AI now, AI has that predictive um, uh, future that anything, any attack that wants to even penetrate the, in that corridor will be dictated and, will, and is, is going to be kicked back. So there is no way. Secondly, AWS, they do have something that they call S3 bucket. S3 bucket is like a meter. As data flow, as data flow in, it expands gradually. It expands gradually. And that is how AWS kill companies to make, to make their money. But guess what? With OnPassive, it's going to be cost effective. Tell me why all the traffic will not come to ODC, to um, uh, our, our right. AI cloud computing. So we are big. We are going to kill the market. We are not, we are not coming to, to compete with anybody, but we just want to come and get our share and we, and we, and we provide the best of the best of services to the customers. So all these right. are the two major things that we are going to kill, that companies will flow to us. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much, uh, Brother Oliver. So um, uh, we we'll would ask, uh, ask uh, Peter Rogers to open the Q&A section now. So right while Peter Rogers is uh, doing that, can you kindly just maybe make a comment regarding every other thing that they've said, if you've got anything in mind while we get the Q&A ready, please. <clears throat> Colin, I've passed the host over to you. So if you want to... So let me open the Q&A now. Yeah. All right. Yes, please. Yes, can we, uh, pardon for putting in again, can we open up the Q, uh, the Q&A section because I'm getting a lot of folks that either aren't seeing my messages or just a few questions in the chat. Yeah, just read it now, John. Yeah, that's what, it's it's live, it's on now. Thank so, you, thank you. Right. Sure. So, Sister Fumi, we just put our eyes on the screen and wait for the questions. So, Collins, would you highlight the questions for us, please? It's easier to read. Yeah, I'll, I'll do. Okay. All right. So, Ren, we were just asking if you had any comments to make while we wait for the questions or contributions from the chat, please. Uh, not really. I mean, the hosting, uh, like the boys have been saying, as far as um, uh, our data centers are concerned, cloud hosting, it it's all very techy, really, isn't it, at the end of the day, that a lot of people don't really understand how cloud hosting works uh, and all the rest of it, but... It suffice to say, as far as us as users is concerned, is that we know that it's going to be more secure. It's going to be proactive in being able to uh, get the data to where it needs to be. Uh, everything's going to be done for us. So it really is a business in the box. Uh, being able to come straight in, get your domain name, have it hosted on the Internet, uh, have it fully loaded on a website that's written for you with your own affiliate uh, link put in there if you are an affiliate. It doesn't get any better than that. And then you can buy traffic if you want to, all in-house. People are gonna fall over themselves to get this. And we know this is coming this year as far as the domains are concerned. We've already got the cloud uh, multi-region hosting uh, from uh, last week on Wednesday. Uh, it's really is amazing to watch this business grow and grow and grow in the way that it is. Uh, but more more impressively for me, it is that way back in the, when we first started, it was just a vision. And to put that vision into reality and to watch it grow, that is where the true magic is happening for me, that I literally have to pinch myself to think I'm part of this. So excited just a little bit. 
Right, sure. So guys, the Q&A section now is open just for questions. If you don't have a question or a contribution, please don't say hi. We just want to see what's coming up now, that, what we need. So I just want to make a disclaimer here before we go on answering questions. Earlier on, Andy used a few figures out there, and then uh, Oliver talked about ODC, open, uh, on passive uh, data center. Andy used these figures just for illustration. It doesn't represent anything from the OES, nor from Mr. Mufare. They're used for illustrations, no quotations elsewhere that Andy said so, because he's not taking them from anywhere. And so Oliver made it clear to us that ODC is a term of years. And so it's not from Mr. Mufare, it's not from the company. So um, there seems to be a question here. I'll try my oh, best oh, to read. Yes, please. Uh, um, um, Peter, I think you're the only one to 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 to, to, um, to pop, publish the question. Yes, the host. Yes. yes, I can't. I've tried. I can't. Only the host can do it. Mm -hmm. So somebody says I, I, I can badly read, even though I have glasses. I have two issues. One, if any, if, if you can publish it, it will really, it will really be helpful. Yeah. All right, Peter, do you want to publish it? Moment. Oh, I, I have it for some reason. Oh. Which one is this? No. And it's quite it's keeping, so I'm missing it. Let me try again. But if Peter, if you just hover around the, the, the question, you see where the, the three dots, and then you click on it and see publish. Yeah. Yeah, we're learning, guys. We'll get there. So be patient with us. So this question is from somebody. I can't really read the name, but I'm trying hard to read the question. He says, if any any scan or QR from anyone, from anyone, I can't see this, guys. Kindly, kindly just put it on the screen. At least I can see the one from Good Evening, uh, everyone. I would like some clarification as to whether affiliates joining now will get any traffic. How do you recommend we attract them into unpassive without the specifics yet? That's a question there, Red. Do you have anything to say to that? Yeah, I have actually, and um, it's a good question. Uh, this first round is, guess what? It's for founders only. Why? Because we were told, and we have been told from day one, that every single customer has to come in through a founder. So this initial phase is for founders only, and this will bring users into uh, underneath founders once that user is underneath a founder they can then become an affiliate and i am sure that the next round will be a collective of any affiliate but definitely this first round is for uh, founders only in the future yeah every single affiliate will have uh, a traffic source they'll be able to purchase traffic and i'm sure that they will be able to uh, be part of any uh, rotator or pool of uh, users from on passive.com in the future uh, obviously there will be criteria and that will be you have had to you will have had to have purchased whatever you'll have to have purchased for it to uh, be uh, eligible for it but um, this very first one is for founders only because that is what was promised to us that every user comes in through a founder back to you Thanks so much, Red. So this one is from Gustav Kahl. He says he has two issues. One, if any scan or QR from anyone, the QR do not bring any into the registration format, only bring any into the login format. Any of us that is using the QR and promote your business. Help, guys, help. Does anybody get that at all, please? I think I do. Okay, thank you, Marty. All right, for, for one thing, the QR code, when you scan it, it goes where you tell it to go. If you make a QR code for a certain link, it'll take you to that link. If you make a QR code that goes to the registration, it will take you to the registration. If you take a QR code from one of the pages that are already made, it'll take you to that page. You have complete control over QR codes. So I don't understand 100% what you're saying, but what I can decipher out of it, it could, you're wrong. And you can do anywhere you want to go. So 
just keep in mind. That's what you can do. You can have a QR code wherever you direct it to go. You have control over the QR codes. Complete control. Wow. Thank you, Marty. Thanks. Yeah. So from Jao Sodo, he says, uh, please, what's the what's your advice for the name of the domain? It's better our pe personal name or a business name and the extension. We can use anyone or just AI. Thanks. I can add something to that. Most, yeah, the yeah. most po the most popular domain is .com. Okay, uh, you can use your name if you want to. Uh, I did not. I used uh, CoolZone.ai because I'm I work in business with Dan Street and Mike Ellis, and I it's all three of us. And I didn't want my name on a domain. Really, um, you could come up with a name or whatever you want to do. If you pick AI, it's it's a little more money. Um, but, and it's not as popular yet. I took a gamble that this is the year of AI. If you look it up, 2023 will be the year of AI when it really started to break out. I believe AI would become more and more popular, but nobody can give you an answer. What's the best domain? The best domain is the one you get. And by the way, make it short, make it simple that people can remember. Do something that they can remember. If you want to use your name, go ahead. But I would do more of a what's relative to you and the business and how you want to, what you want people to think about when they click your name. And remember, and on passive, you'll probably also get an email to it and many, many other items you can get because they are hosting your domain. So that that's my input. Red can add what, what he has. Yeah, thank you, Marty. Um, what I'm just going to input on this is um, you need to remember Graham's uh, put this on as well. And I was going to bring Graham's question into this is each account you have is a separate account and each account you will have to have a domain name for each of those accounts. In the future, will you be able to uh, amalgamate accounts together? Yes, you can through the wallet part, but you won't be able to do it as far as the accounts are concerned. So. If you have multiple accounts, like many of us do here, each one will need its own domain name. Now, the question was uh, from Joe is, is it better to have your name or a business name? What I've done is I've set one of them. I've already got the domains because I've bought them on other, uh, on, on, on uh, GoDaddy. Uh, one is redtech.red uh, red, and that is gonna be my business page. So that is what I've called that. I've already registered uh, redredfern.com. I'm going to use that as my other main ones. And the other accounts, I will be using personal names for those. Unless you have a specific idea of what you want that account to achieve, then my advice is to mm -hmm. use your personal name. Unless you've got an idea of a business of how you want to run it. For instance, if you are looking at using Academy or O Skills um, for one of your accounts to promote a passion of yours, uh, like woodwork or uh, chefing or painting or whatever. And that's what you are going to use that account for to specifically target that audience. Yeah. Then you can think of a domain name to go around that because that's your what you're going to use that for. OK, so it really is important that you give it some thought now so that when it comes in, then you can uh, uh, you can put it in and it will tell you if it's available or not. And as Marty said, dot AI is going to be a really important uh, ending, but it's not the only ending you can use. That's for sure. Back to you. Uh, can, I add a, can I add a little bit? OK, um, there's different scenarios. Let me give you one for, from my perspective. Let's say I have 10 accounts and I have coolzone.a on my main account. I personally am not going to have a domain for each account if they're mine. But let me, I'm going to give you a, re a reason why. A domain, you can retarget whatever you want. In other words, I can keep on passive, I mean, uh, coolzone.ai and I can direct from any account I have. So I can build account number one using coolzone.ai, I can change the direction and take from account number two, number three, number four, number five, all the way to 10, and I can move it anytime I want. 
so that everyone sees coolzone.ai, they have no idea it's 10 different accounts and do they, they don't care. It would be just, for me, it's easier to keep one name instead of coolzone.ai101, coolzone.ai102. Now, there's different reasons, like Red said, but if, if, if you're, if you're going to build, like I'm going to build one and then I can move it. I can move because you actually forward your, your website to that domain, right? The domain stays, but what you forward to it, that's what you're promoting. But the people on the other side, they only see if you want to build, if you want to build, um, if you're into branding, really branding, I want to focus on one name and just mass everything behind that one name. But that's, that's what I'm saying. There's different ways to look at it. I just wanted to give you another scenario. That's all. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Yeah, before I read this, I think uh, Collins uh, deleted the other one. Somebody was asking, that was Gustav, uh, that uh, he says uh, the only um, the updates, not uh, the manuals in the OES are now on, available only in English. And so he wants to know how soon they'll get them in other languages because he thinks it's important. Any help with that, please? Uh, as far as the timeline for them being translated into other and other languages, we have that only uh, on passive can say that. But with those manuals, you can uh, copy it pretty easily. You can download that manual, don't forget. And if you put it into Google Translate, it will translate it anyway. <coughs> uh, as, as far as having them in multi-languages is concerned, I don't think it's something that's going to be imminent, but it will be done. Okay, thanks. Uh, that's helpful enough. So, good day, everyone. Is the O trim currently working? I have been trying to to trim a link and have not been successful for the past couple of days. I copied the link but not able to paste in O trim. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't take copy paste, but it does take control V. You're muted, Red. Uh, yeah, I said it does. You can't copy and paste in a normal for format into uh, O trim, but it does uh, Control V. So if you if you copy it as normal and then Control V within the text area, it will paste in. Yeah, I, I can agree with that because even when you're using the prompter, it's the same thing. You can't copy and paste with the mouse, but when you do Control C, Control V, it works. So maybe you want to try that too. So, um, what kind of discipline action? To the people who buy the product with their credit card, then go back and cancel it. <laughs> Marty, right? Ma Marty, and that's yours. <laughs> I believe it's a death penalty. Next. <laughs> no, no, I mean, you mean deliberately? Well, if it's done deliberately, you could lose your account. Uh, Mr. Kamal said that. Yes. But, but I mean, what they do with people like that, I wouldn't worry about. It. I mean, that that's out of our hand. I just wouldn't recommend doing it. But it's costing the company a lot of money. So they're going to be looking out for it. Trust me. They've got a whole group of people now because they've been messed up so bad and spent who, who knows how many thousands because a lot of people did that. Boom. Now, listen, anybody that did it before the, they talked about it, it's not like they're going to go back and nail everybody. That's not the point. They found people that did it deliberately, and they probably are no longer in on passing. By the way, that's fraud. It could go to court for that. That's way beyond getting kicked out of on passing, for sure. Thank you. Can I leave the money into my wallet, or do I need to transfer the money into an account? That is Simon Murphy. Thank you. Simon. Now, with 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 this, um, obviously, what Ash doesn't want to do is to leave lots and lots of of, of money in your wallet. However, um, many of us here are leaving money in the wallet in order to um, pay for the new products that come out. Um, when the the system is open to allow us to transfer to others to help them activate their accounts, so you know, be be. 
um, uh, conscientious in this regard, but it's it. If you've got in in five years' time, if you've got a uh, an amount in there that's rather large, um, what's the point? You need to make it work elsewhere. So you need to start taking taking money out of the account, not leaving it in the account. But uh, you know, small amounts <clears throat> um, certainly to to pay for products. Um, and the extra products that come out, that's certainly what I'm going to do um, to make sure that I can activate every single product that is released as soon as it's released and I've got money there to do it. But it's also there to be able to help others um, within the group say, you know, I'm not in a position to pay for it right now. OK, fine, I'll do it. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah, sure. Thank you. That that helps. I'm I'm happy with that. I hope the person's happy too. Simon, let's know in the chat section if you're satisfied. Thank you, Andy. So, uh, Peter Rogers, if we can't see any question, then we're done. Am I right? I've just been through them all and put them on what's there. Yeah. So give it give it another minute to see if anybody else has got anything to to say. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting, some people might be struggling in one way or the other. We'll just give two minutes for that. So if anybody has any contribution at all, or any comment to make, you can go There is ahead. one question there, if uh, Peter can highlight it. That's why it just came in now. I think more okay. questions are coming. Yeah, there's one about my son. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you correct the country code of one of your contacts? It's correct on their account, but it's incorrect on my husband's page. Should I submit a ticket? Marty, Red? Yeah, my, I mean, my advice to that is if it's not, um, I mean, is it correct? Uh, I... I I wouldn't pay too much uh, attention to it. And as long as all the other details are correct there at this stage, I, I wouldn't be submitting a ticket for that because it's going to make no difference uh, to your husband, uh, whether the uh, country uh, code is correct or not uh, on their um, affiliate or the, the user on it, because your husband's probably got the right information for that user. Um, I, at this stage, I wouldn't be bothering uh, support with something like that unless it becomes a much more prolific problem. Uh, it's probably just a one off. Comfort, may I butt in for a second? Did you see the question about my son changed his password and now he's forgotten uh, and I tried to help him? But uh, there's a there is a question about that just above the window. It's on there now. John. We'll have it right there on the screen now. <laughs> Well, I just read again. So my son changed his password and forgot it. I tried to help him get another one, but could not make. What can I do to recover that account? Collins, Marty, right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'll take this. I'll take this. It's pretty easy, really. Mm -hmm. um, you, you you can do it um, if he's a founder. You can do it through OFounders, or if it's uh, a user, you do it through OK, um, your OES. And you, when you're logging in, if you go to a forgotten password, okay, you can recover uh, the the password from that area. It will send a code to the email that's attached to the account. And then you follow the instructions from that. Um, if all else fails, then uh, you will need to write to support at onpassive.com uh, with as many details as possible. And they will advise you what information you need to recover that account. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Red. So uh, this is M Mavis. Can I use money in my wallet to pay for the products? Andy, can I use you, money in my wallet to pay for the you've product? Got to, right, okay. So there is money in your wallet already. There should be 107. Unless you've got 
um, customers already in your group and they and, the, and you've got a commission in there but no you cannot use that in the first cycle you have to put something in to be able to then withdraw that commission does that make sense sure and i think that's enough i hope they're happy with that so uh, we're moving on so uh i gifted um two friends with two accounts all founders accounts they are not interested and do not want to migrate to oes is it possible to retrieve the money or the accounts i use my bank card Marty, do you want this or shall I take it? I'll take Marty. it then. Uh, uh, okay. I'm, I'm eating right now, Red. <laughs> uh, no, no worries, mate. <laughs> uh, as far as uh, getting your money back is concerned, uh, that uh, has finished now. As of the 1st of September last year, there is no refunds on any O founders' accounts. Uh, the money, in fact, has been given back to us in our OES account. Uh, uh, to go towards products. Uh, as far as if you want those accounts and your two friends don't, if you know these people and they are happy to hand over the email for it and also the password, then you can take that account, put it into your name, change the password, uh, and then that is in your account. As far as changing the uh, email, uh, that's the alternative email, that has attached that OSA founders account, I'm afraid that won't be possible. So if you do know these people and they are happy to hand over the uh, um, alternative email as well, then you can change the passwords for that and the O founders account and put it into your name. Back to you. Can I, can I add a little bit? Um, sure. Because uh, th these, these are businesses. Each account is a business. Uh, my suggestion would be to also get something in writing from them that says they no longer wish to take any monetary um, um, advantage of this account and sign it to say as such with a date. Because believe me, when you're going to start earning income from these things, the first thing they'll say is, I want it back. And if you've got something in writing, you've got no argument. Good point, Andy. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. So um, will we be given a format to, sub to submit a domain name that we can design and on passing will automatically create a website? Where will this website or domain name be placed? Is anybody motivated? Anybody? It's open. I can take it if somebody else doesn't want it, but I've been speaking a lot, so somebody else no, take carry it. Carry on, Red. I'm busy trying to get them on the on the panel on, on the. Okay, <laughs> okay. As far as your domain name is concerned, uh, it works very similar to all domain name services out there at the moment. You will put in to a search box uh, what you kind of want for a domain name. It will give you suggestions for it of what is available, and you select whatever domain name that you want. Uh, if, if that's what you mean by designing a domain name. And what on passive will do for you is that domain name uh, is going to be attached to uh, your account. Uh, you'll also be given a web page that comes fully loaded with information. And if you're an affiliate, it will have your affiliate link on it. Where, where is this going to be placed? Uh, it's going to be placed within the O domain and uh, the hosting service of that. And it will be live on the Internet. And this is where people will come uh, when you are driving traffic to that Web page. They will come and they will then purchase uh, products and services of on passive through that website. And obviously you will then get the commissions if they do. So we've got all this information to come. Uh, we know that it's going to happen in 2024 this year. Uh, so let's not speculate too much about how it's all going to happen and how it's all going to pan out. But uh, from what our CEO said, uh, it, the domain name and the web hosting uh, 
fully loaded websites uh, and the traffic being driven to it, that's all going to be done in-house from on passive. Back to you. Thanks, Ray. Thanks. So, Peter Rogers, I'm, I'm reading this for, this should be the last question. So, the moment I read it, you just take it down, please. Thank you. So, my contact is displayed as Afghanistan, but all are from India. Help, guys. Peter, can we take this down? So what does someone do? They, they, they are apparently they reside in India and the address or the country shows Afghanistan. That's yeah, you can, you, can, you can check. You can change your um, location in the profile section of your ecosystem. There's a drop down box. Just just select which one you want and you'll have to edit as well the phone number to uh, correspond with where you're living. Right. I think before doing that, you need to, when you go to your profile, you need to click edit first so that it goes live for you to be able to type. If you don't click edit, you will not be able to type anything. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right. Yo, so, thank you. So thank I, you I so was, much. I, I was thinking everyone knew that, but hey, yeah. better say it as well. <laughs> I know. Some Can I like say that, something, please? please? May I say something? This is Yes, sure. Um, Definitely. I, I, was, I went to edit a phone number uh, I click edit and I entered the correct one but it doesn't it's not edit editable now I'm sure it's going to change that's my experience all right thank you Minu for letting us know but it's always working if it's not going now it's for obvious reason they're busy doing one or two things so when you click there and you're able to edit don't forget to save if you edit and you don't save you have not done anything but then it's definitely going to be back so thank you once again. Thanks, Red. Thanks for the uh, contribution from all of the great leaders. And uh, we just want to call on one person to close this uh, session for us. Uh, Peter, you've been very busy. I think I'll let uh, Giggle gift it to give us a giggle this evening. She seems to be freezing, though. She's so still. <laughs> <laughs> So, are you happy to round up the meeting for all, Sister Gifty? Go, Gifty. Go, Gifty. Go, go. <laughs> She's free. She's frozen. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Can you hear me? That's it. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you very <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Redfin, for coming today. Thank you, all dear leaders. Yes, thank you. I think we really do appreciate you because we come here, as I said, we come here each and every Sunday to learn about our company because OnPassive is a group of companies and if you don't pay attention to it, you will know that is why we meet each and every day and each and every day YouTube channels are dear leaders are there, I mean, teaching us, guiding us uh mr red marty uh this is a comfort and sleep each and every day each and everyone is doing youtube so that we will learn from our company so please stay positive and be attentive to each word that they say because it will help you in the near future we really appreciate you we love you all. see you same time next week silos webinar and also don't forget each and every day we YouTube channels running. Please catch up with it and learn us from there. Thank you, God bless you. See you same time Thank next you. week. Thank Love you. you all. Thank you, sis. Love you too. Thank you so much. So thanks everyone for coming. We really appreciate. <laughs> so it would be boring if it's just a few of us here, but then it makes more meaning when we have all of you here. So come back again next week, please. Thank you and see you all soon. Thanks. Thank you, Red. Thanks, Marty. Thanks, Jean. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much. Love you.